Hello everybody, this is 8-Bit Flashback, and today I'm going to show you how to uninstall the GPG hacks. So if you're having issues with your console not working properly after installing the GPG hacks, or you simply just want to remove it, this fix may work for you and get your console back to normal. And just to let you know, for myself, I'm not really having any major issues, so after I show you how to uninstall this, I'm going to continue to use this hack. And before we proceed, I want you to keep in mind when modding or hacking a console, there's always a chance you can break your console. So even though this is designed to repair your console, there's still a risk, as funny as that sounds. So please proceed at your own risk. So this will be the website you need to head to and I'll make sure to post a link down below. And if you scroll down to uninstalling GPG hacks, it will give a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. And I would encourage everyone to read through this thoroughly because there's different instructions depending on where you're located. So if you're in Japan, there's going to be slightly different instructions. So please read through this thoroughly before continuing. And what I'm going to demonstrate today is how to uninstall the GPG hacks for US consoles. And on the same page, they do talk about another method for hacking your PlayStation Classic that is supposed to be a little bit safer called BleemSync. But I'm not a fan of this method yet. It's not very user friendly. And I'm going to wait for it to evolve a little bit before I do any videos about it. So now it's time to download this. So if I click on that green box, I can download this as a zip file and then save it to my computer. Once it's done, I can go and open that folder and this should be in a zip archive format. If I click on the GPG hacks folder, inside here is gonna be all the contents. They're gonna to need to be put on a USB flash drive. And for the flash drive, it will need to be USB 2.0 formatted with FAT32. And you wanna make sure to rename your flash drive to Sony in all capital letters. Also, you wanna make sure to remove any files that have to do with the original GPG hacks. And if you notice, I do have one folder on my flash drive right now, but this has nothing to do with the uninstall process. I just have this on here for testing purposes. So now I'm going to copy and drag the contents of the uninstall archive and place them inside the root of the flash drive. Okay, that flash drive is all set up and ready for the uninstall. Now it's time to move over to the PlayStation console. And the instructions call to leave it in the powered off position. Then insert the USB flash drive. Then turn the power on. And if everything goes well, what should happen is your console should begin the boot process and then go to a black screen or a no signal screen. So it seems to be booting up like normal, but it should kick to a black screen like this. Now, if you do get this screen, then everything should be working right. And it's time to go ahead and unplug the USB power and unplug that flash drive. And once you reboot that console, it should be back to normal. But if for some reason your console did not go to that black screen and it continued to boot all the way up, there is going to be some more steps involved. So this is what mine did the first time I tried this. It actually booted all the way up and then I was greeted by a blank game where that custom game is supposed to be. But it's an easy fix. All we're going to do is turn that power off first, wait for that to power down. As soon as we get that orange light, we're going to go ahead and unplug it, then plug it back in, then wait for that orange light to kick back on and power it back up. And notice this time when I hit that power button, there is an orange light blinking. So that is indicating this is working like it should. And the console did begin to boot up and went to a no signal screen. So now I should be good to go. So now what I'm gonna do is unplug the USB power first and then the flash drive, then plug that USB power back in and wait for that orange light to kick on and then turn the power on. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but your game saves should stay intact. So you don't have to worry about losing any of those when you're using this method. So this time when I booted up the PlayStation, I was greeted by the language selection screen. And that did worry me for a few because I thought it did a full factory reset and erased all those game saves. But I found out that that is not the case and the game saves are just fine. So now my console is back to normal and that custom game that was inside the main menu is gone. So it's just like it was before doing the hack. Now, if for some reason this did not work for you, you're going to want to follow the instructions on their step-by-step -step guide. It does mention that if it doesn't work, open a new issue, attach the uninstall log and the file list log from the root of the USB flash drive. So when we did that uninstall, it should have created those two logs. And to open up a new issue, that is going to be located towards the top of that same page. Okay, it's time for me to get out of here. If you liked that video, don't forget to click that like button and please subscribe. And have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time.